Hi everyone, this is um, a 4 NCL game, 3 Seas 2 versus Metropolitan, and this one is Nathan Gittins versus Petter Vatchfeld, who had an ELO of 1981, and this was played on board 2, and this comes from the um, same match as uh, me versus Charlie Cook and uh, Daniel Abbas versus Charlotte Gear. So um, after this, it means I've done half the um, games from games from that 4 NCL match. Anyway, this has a very interesting story because um, for this weekend I was sharing a room with Nathan and what happened was um, we looked up our opponents before the game, like what the openings they play and um, we found out that Petter plays the um, Grunfeld against D4 and um, Nathan was, um, like me, was sick of having his centre repeatedly smashed to pieces by all that pressure blocking certs on D4 so we decided to look at some sidelines and we found the um, Alakine anti Grunfeld now known as the, as the um, Hilton system in 2011 because of the success I've had with it however I wasn't the first to try it out Nathan tries it out after half an hour of preparation in our room half an hour for the first time he, pl he, he plays it for the first time in the 4 TL game against someone a lot I rated <laughs> Well, you got to laugh. And what's even more funny is, is that when we was practicing it, I kept winning and I don't even play the Grunfeld. And I'm also worse than him, so, um... I'm surprised he did it, but let's see how it worked anyway. We had a basic plan of, um, which I play, which is... We'll have to D4, Knight of 6, C4, G6, F3. First of all, if you want to play this amazing opening, you have to, um be able to play the Siamish Kings Indian because if black goes bishop g7 then white's best is e4 and the knight c3 with a transposition. Um, if um, the basic plan is um, is bishop e4, bishop e3, queen d2, knight c3, knight g e2, castle queen side, h4, h5, hack, 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 kill, kill, kill. Basically that's the idea. It is very good and irrefutable. Nathan has started trying to refute um, it, and suffice to say, it will be a fail. But anyway, here comes the amazing shock. Um, I got up after about 20 minutes of my game. I find uh, Nathan's opponent's clock on 1 colon 59, and his clock is on 1 colon 40 at move 3. Why is it this case? He has just played e5. <laughs> I was like, what is this? And he didn't have a clue either. It is the um, Adoyang Gambit. It is um, one of the options Black gets against this line. It is completely unsound, but he didn't know what to do. So I uh, thought it was quite dangerous. First of all, he plays e3 after 20 odd minutes fought, so he's basically wasted loads of time on the clock on um, an inferior move. He's supposed to take it. And after knight h5, the idea of this is to um, take advantage of um, f3 directly because it weakens the diagonal and then the um, dark squares. I've preferred as a refutation knight h3. If queen h4 check, then knight f2, queen takes c4 and e4, queen e6, f4. And white's got a very strong center and black's knight is out of play. And... Um, if knight c6, I have found the move queen d5 because the queen is hard to chase away from there. And we have this, we have the dreaded pawn on e5, which will um, help provide um, a kingside attack. And black's just down the pawn here, so the Adar Yang gambit has been refuted. If you do happen to play against f3 double exclamation mark, then instead of trying to unsound gambits, I think it's best to, um, well, either resign or try something better like bishop g7 or d5. But anyway, he plays a timid move, e3, and now comes e takes d4, e takes d4, and d5. And now this is like a main Grunfield, except um, white can't play e4. So, knight c3, bishop g7, bishop e3, castles, queen d2. We still had the basic plan here, even if it goes wrong. Queen d2, bishop e3. e3. Rook e8. Castles getting off the dangerous e-file. 
bishop e6, threatening pawn takes c4, so c5, and now b6 trying to hack uh, white's queenside to shreds. But now Nathan starts to get on with his attack with g4, and now b takes c5, d takes c5, and c6. And now black's got the uh, open b line to work with, so white has to be careful. Here I think white should just get on with his attack with h4, and after queen a5, h5, knight bd7, black has got away with his dodgy opening because the position is dynamically equal now, where white of course should be winning by now. But this is preferable to the game continuation, which was knight a4, knight bd7, h3, I'm not sure what all that's about, I thought he would just play him h4 and get on with his attack. It's not like him to make passive moves like that. And now d4, a very strong move, which now after him, the forced bishop takes d4, comes bishop takes a2, and white's queen side is starting to get hacked. He plays g5, knight d5, and now gets rid of the dangerous bishop. But now look at the compare and contrast the development. White's knight is on the rim, whereas black's knight is centralised. White's pieces are still at home and are spectators. The only compensation White's got is um, Black's King is potentially slightly exposed, but so is White's. And um, now Knight E2, um, which is a mistake. Instead, B4, Knight E3, Rook E1, Queen takes G5 is actually given as best, but this is very strong for Black, who's a pawn up with a better position. Knight E2, but Bishop B3 comes now. Which looks like it wins a piece, but white does have this check on d4. However, the best continuation given was to um, give up the exchange. But after queen e7, black is not only the exchange up, but has a crushing position. So this is game over as well. After check, king g8, rook d2, now comes queen a5, the absolute killer. And after knight a c a c3, you analyse the alternatives, there's no defence. Knight takes c3 resigns because of all this pressure. For example, if knight takes c3, then rook e1 check. And if queen takes, we have queen a1, which is mate. So when, and if, oh if, uh, sorry, knight takes c3, we have queen a1 check, knight b1 and rook e1. So anyway, uh, this is a lesson for all of you. Number one. Hilton system may be amazing, but if you play it after half an hour of preparation, you will get crushed. Because it is a it is a risky dynamic opening. You must know your stuff. And when you want to play it, you must prepare it for ages like I did. And then when I unleashed it on my opponent, I showed no mercy and won easily. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this game. Um, please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.